Hey y'all, what's going on? So listen, this was going to be a direct upload. Went to YouTube and the motherfucker wouldn't direct upload. It said, this is a read action only. We only doing read, but when it's done, we'll upload it. Fuck that. We're going to just do a regular one. Because I do feel the need to come in here. And yes, we're going to talk about that Atlanta hoes. But we're not going to talk about that Atlanta hoes right now. Love and hip hop hoes, New York, honey. Erica has set my shit aflame tonight. If she did not speak on the pecking orders of hoes tonight and exactly how it go and in that motherfucking order, okay? But anywho, let me digress just a little bit. Okay. Um, let's talk about the shit that's important. Y'all know I just want to talk about that. But I'm not going to go straight to that. What you doing, Boosh? I'm not going to go straight to that shit. Okay, let's see. Um, what's his name? Peter Guns decides that he going to have to go and meet up with uh, Rich Dollar. Y'all y'all know I'm not in no order with this shit. It's, what, you know, it's just what it is and how it comes out. So he decides that he is going to you know, I'm going to have to reach out to him. I was wrong. And he bit off more than he could motherfucking chew in the first place. Because, bitch, you know ain't nobody checking for your old decrepit ass, bitch. You are getting ready to be back to that motherfucking nursing home DJing, okay? Because I'm not going to be able to do your old ass. Not that it's nothing wrong with age, but I just it ain't happening for you right now where you can fucking pick and choose. And, ugh, anywho, especially if you had put all your shit... All your money on that bitch sitting on the steps and in the chair doing this with her motherfucking hands and a bit. Oh, okay. I'm going to get off of that. Anywho. So he's going to meet up with Rich Dollar. They go to this little smoking shit. What's going on? I know, I know, I know. Um, I got to. Who is that? Gina. Oh. Anywho. Yeah. So it's like yeah. you know he you know Rich had to buy the cigars and shit like that because Peter Guns please stop. You sat there and said you can't stand her. It's your fault. She's a child. This and that and other. Both of them hoes you date or whatever these bitches are doing. You know act fucking childish. They got to be fucked up in the head to be fucking with your ass. But anywho, we gonna move forward. So. Uh, he's talking about, um, Rich Dollar's talking about, well, I got this shit and I got the, you know, the, the holes and the magazines and we doing this and oh girl, I'm gonna bring her and I don't know how men are gonna do and, which is apparently this bitch who Erica's gonna have to check, which Erica, girl, you could pull back a little bit though. Girl, you got me all the way together. You could have pulled back a little bit. You didn't do it, girl. You read that bitch dust. You called her motherfucking whole card. That bitch couldn't hold it in. And she had to go the fuck off. Because you read that bitch dust. Little did she know it. Anywho. Okay, so we have that. And they going to hook up and let him DJ. And he's like, well, you know, girl's friends. And somehow... You know, the baby mama going to come, which, okay. Now, don't we already know that Mona had it set up this way? This is a fucking hip-hop soap opera. You know what I mean? Scripted reality. Anywho, so, okay, we have that. Then there's a point where his baby mama is with K. Michelle. K. Michelle, you my motherfucker because, girl, me and you was here when you said, uh-uh, uh -uh, I'm going on tour. I, I can't be... These hikes and jumping and shit. I ain't going to be able to do that, honey. You know. But anywho. So, we already know that Peter Guns, baby mama, she's interested in both of the twins as far as I'm concerned. But I'll go forward. She's like, hey, Michelle, come with me. They apparently is doing some stunt shit. And am I the only one that thought that shit was corny as hell? And girl, really? Are you kissing on the first date? Because you know you and Peter Guns at this point are still smushing. You know, y'all still smushing. So, you ain't dick deprived. Let's be clear, honey. You're not dick deprived. So, I don't know why you were so quick to give him the lips and all that. Like, girl, get to know him before you be sucking his mouth down your throat. You know, I'm just saying, you know. 
Okay, Michelle, somewhere like take your shirt off and do it. And girl, me and you are on the same page because I'm a bitch that likes backs. I am. I like the fronts too, but there's something about a man with a nice broad back or just the manly back shit that gets me together. Now, I ain't going to go no far because I don't want my daughter to vomit. So she'll be like, oh, mama, don't say it. Anywho, like she miraculously appeared. Anyway, so you like take your shirt off and you was like, he took it off. And I was like, oh, and I was like, yes, bitch, because I was singing the choir in the back. You know, I was just singing it at a lower tone when you said it. I was like, well, bitch, we was high. I was half to hear it. Brittany. I'm going to need you to admit that you was doing it, too. Yeah, when old dude took his shirt off. Yeah, Brit y'all, Brittany, you listen. He took her, his shirt off, and Brittany went from stud to, yes, God. I'm telling you. I thought it was Brit in her, y'all. Yeah. He could get her gilders, y'all. I'm sorry. I think he could get her gilders. He could get the, I think he could get your gilders. Okay. Anywho, so the shirt's off and K. Michelle's doing that. And I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, I ain't mad because you asked him, you know, I just think he's going to have a whip on his back when it jump on that level, you know. So they go up 20 more feet and I'm still like, okay, so she did it. And she's trying to get up in the shit. She's sizzle, sizzle kicking. Am I the only woman that will look at shit and, like, if you just see a woman hop on a man's back or on his neck or be doing some shit where she got her legs spread all the time, am I the only bitch that be like, I hope she ain't stinking? I, I cannot be the only woman that be like, God, I hope she don't smell. She, I'm serious. This is what I do. When other people, I'm like, I hope she got it tight. You know what I mean? Because it's, ugh, anyway. So she's getting up and, you know, they going to hook up now. We know the little party shit's going to go on. Gandy, bitch, let me take but a moment, honey, to talk to you for a moment, girl. You look absolutely fabulous. Her. I just want to say that. Anywho, so what else do I want to talk about? Apparently, Ronald McDonald, who was getting married, now, am I the only one that noticed in the beginning back when Tahiri came and she was like, I really don't want to talk about this because this is a happy time for you. You know, let's let this be about you. But then Ronald McDonald and, and Mer McCheese and the rest of them was like, no, nah, girl, keep talking. And now she's like, you ain't helped me with this. You ain't did that, bitch. What exactly is your role on the motherfucking show? Who are you marrying a Burger King, bitch? I'm trying to understand. I'm just saying. Because you done work my damn nerves. Anywho. Yeah, my curls are a little tight right now. But I absolutely love this wig, y'all. Here. All right. Anywho. I'm going to get something down the road. Anywho. So... Okay, so you getting upset. Tahiri's just kind of renegading it up or whatever. Joe Budden apparently has been to therapy, and he's like, fuck it, I am ready. Let me get her sister. The sisters, you know, he's like, well, I don't have nobody else to ask, honey. Can I have a hand? You know, and I'm thinking in my head, you know, I thought that was nice of him kind of trying to stay in line with what would be the norm. So I do say kudos to him on that. But it's kind of like, Joe, I'm feeling some kind of way because I still feel like you're going to have women and you're going to still do what you do. I want you to not do it because, y'all, I really do love the relationship between, you know, the, the love that Tahiri has for Joe Button. And it's unfortunate that this motherfucker can't realize it. You know what I'm saying? Joe, I'm going to say this and, you know... People, you know, say what you want to say about that. I'm going to need you to love her and be on her and addicted to her like any other thing, you know what I'm saying, you dealt with in your life. You know what I mean? Like, she's ride or die with you from what I see. So make it work, Joe. Just make it work. I'm rooting for you. But I just want you to make it work because you can only drag a bitch through so much before she snaps. 
And Tahiri, honey, if he ain't getting it for you, it's, this ain't the key key. Bitch, don't give up your whole motherfucking life waiting on this motherfucker to get it right. Because, bitch, he might be in a motherfucking ground still trying to motherfucking figure it out. Okay? Anywho. So, y'all, let's peace. Anywho. Oh, I'm going to need you to stay down there. Y'all, this the the wig got had uh, some really tight curls, and I'm gonna have to break these curls down, y'all. But I okay, wait, wait a minute. They're just kind of tight right now, honey. But I can't wait until they fall. Mm -hmm. Anywho, moving on alone. So okay, we have that. What else? Um. Uh, Bridge and old girl, they meet up after the whole fiasco goes on with Mena and this and that and other. Y'all just fuck it. I just, I just cannot. I can't go forward. I have to talk about this shit. That bitch came in. Erica said, "I know he didn't invite me to this party and his so-called modeling shit." But I'm going to go in here and storm the place. And girl, you look fabulous doing it. Now, Erica, it ain't, it ain't too many times, bitch, that me and you totally hurt. But I'm totally here with your ass. Especially when you read that bitch and let her know what the motherfucking pecking order is. When it come down to you, Rich, and what her position is. So she come in and see him. And he's over there with the bitch he done sent. You know, gave her a, a a Greyhound ticket. I had her come from Greyhound, and Erica said, "Well, you got this bitch off of Craigslist." Um, she's kind of sitting there, and Erica's like, "Oh, y'all know how we do." Like, "Oh, hey, you look cute. This what you doing? Y'all know how it go. Is this what you doing tonight? Oh, okay, okay. Y'all know the look. Oh, okay. I feel you." Okay. And she's like, ah, oh, well, you know, it ain't bad. You know what I'm saying? I see where you was kind of trying to go with this shit. Y'all know I'm paraphrasing and looking at her. Meanwhile, this, you know, they kind of introduced, but Erica already got it in her mind. And one thing about motherfucking Erica, her mouth game is all the way together. Like she said, oh, dude, motherfucker, you ain't ready for my mouth. Understand it. You know. So, they kind of having words, yada, yada, and old girls, you know, men are kind of alluding to the fact that, honey, you tried to get somebody, boo-boo, but, you know what I mean, like, ain't nobody like me, but it's cute what you tried to do over here, you know, and then when she said, I like how this bitch thinks she made it, cause she here, but let her have that, that's cute. Then she went to the damn bar. Either you went to the bar. Now she went to the bar. Y'all went to the bar. However, you and her's over there talking, and you tell you know Rich Dollar and Erica's over there talking. And Erica's like, "Where you get this low budget ass Greyhound? You know Craigslist bitch at?" And you know she's going through her whole shit with him, and like you know I'm sick of you doing this. I know what you're doing. Yada yada yada. Meanwhile, here come the bus bitch. Got her transfer in hand. Come over there and tell Rich, I see what you're doing or some shit like that. That's when Erica Mena unleashed what I call the motherfucking whole rules. Okay. She said, I need you to let her know what the pecking order is around her. I need you to let her know how she get fed, how, how we eat around her. Who's the real breadwinner and who gets the real food? I need you to let this bitch know what her position is. Like, Erica got all in her head and y'all, I was like, yes, Erica, let that bitch know. Don't unruffle your motherfucking self, which, Erica, you do come for people. But you let that bitch know in no uncertain motherfucking terms, bitch. You're what he's doing this second. At 701, you're what he's doing, bitch, from 702. To infinity, bitch, I'm what he's always doing, bitch. Understand that. Right? Then when the bitch was like, you should have asked me to get Sid or whatever, the girl that she must ground with or whatever, because she, you know, she looks like her pretty or whatever. 
Erica, bitch, you broke that bitch down to nothing. That bitch had to go off. She had to be sent up out of there. You read that bitch dust. And it wasn't even like you was like, motherfucker this and bitch that and this and that and other. You was like, let this bitch know if she want to eat. You know, how she get fat, bougie. What you doing? How she, you know, how she get fed and this and that and nothing. I'm like, all right. Because it is an order. It's an order to that shit. It's the bottom bitch. Now, y'all know I'm speaking in whole analogies. Because we, you know, we're talking about this whole hip-hop shit or whatever. That's the bottom bitch. And then there's that new bitch who just came in. And like I was I was saying to Brittany, I was like, the bottom bitch get to eat off the plate after the pimp get to eat. Now, y'all, in no way am I saying this okay. And please don't ever think that I'm glorifying that shit. Because I'm not. I'm just kind of breaking it down in the hip-hop holes. Analogies. The bottom bitch get the most. That would be Erica. The new bus bitch that they just got off a of Craigslist bitch, you don't get to motherfucking eat nothing but what what dick you served that night. Her, that was your motherfucking dinner. Please know your position. Please know it. And if you didn't know it, she let you know exactly what position you was in. And she told you, and bitch, then you came unhinged and wanted to fight. And that's when you always know you got a bitch. You know what I mean? Like the bitch want to throw shit and she want to fight this and that and other bitch. We, we just having a verbal conversation. You know what I mean? Anywho, y'all, off of that Erica bitch, you gave me my life. I'm telling you, if you never say another motherfucking thing ever in life, bitch, when you say it to that bitch, how, let her know how she eating. Who? who? Okay. You know, I I, I was, y'all, that was a Barbara, this is Shirley. The shoes on his feet I buy and all of that type of shit. Now, I don't know that I'm that bitch, but okay. Okay, now moving on along. Joe Button's trying to get the ring that went to the sister. And she's like, stop playing with her. Yada, yada, yada. He's at the house, got the dude with the ring. Want the box, y'all. I'm just giving y'all the rough draft. And so... <sighs> Okay, you gonna do something great, won't tell the sister. What he did, y'all, was very, very, very. Because I was almost like, <laughs> like, bitch, you bet I say no. You know, but it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do for you, bitch. I, I mean, you know what I mean? But that was very just, I don't know. That was just very thoughtful. It was just something about it. But then, on the other hand, I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, you know when it's that point and you know some shit's different and when it's about to go down. Because if y'all ever notice, instantly once the woman realizes it's like, ooh, you know, she's, you know what I mean? Like she's over, you know, overwhelmed with happiness and all of that. To Harry was just kind of like, hmm, like un underwhelmed a little bit, y'all. Maybe it was me. Now y'all let me know because it could have just been me. I don't know. But she seemed... A little underwent a little bit. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Um, the way he did it was nice. And Joe, I really do hope y'all get married and you stay true to her and what you said. Okay? Y'all, I'm hot under these lights. And I ain't that many lights. I got to cut down. I got to cut down, but I'm... Oh, this is so good. Oh, it smells good, too. Anywho... So, y'all, that's pretty much it. I mean, what else am I talking about? The two fools that got the baby, the new couple, and the fool that want her to move in. That is not even worth a conversation. Like, okay. What? 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 Dumb and fucking dumb. Like, I can't even talk about them. I need them off of the show. With that being said, let me just do a little side kiki. Um, and it has nothing to do with the love of hip hop hoes, New York. Yeah, but did y'all happen to hear about the whole shit with Ray J turning the shit down in LA? Why are they having trouble finding people to do the LA shit? I think they done watched Atlanta and New York and done said, I ain't gonna be do that. Something about that, 
I ain't going to be able to do it. But I was surprised that Ray J didn't want to do it because he's doing a Bad Girls Club. But y'all know I don't even talk about that shit. I go over and watch Mama Simone. And I, if, if Scotty do one, uh, one uh, you know, some of my regulars. But when it comes to the Bad Girls Club, if you're looking for a review on YouTube, honey, Mama Simone going to give you that and then some. So I look at the reviews because... At best, what I'm going to say is, like, why, you know, these bitches ain't even bad, bitch. You know what I mean? Like, a bitch can say anything. You know what I mean? Like, on that Bad Girls Club, them bitches come in there talking about, I'm this, and can't a bitch do that, taking they shit, this and that, and other bitch, please. I'm going home the first motherfucking day, and I feel silly even saying that. I would never let my daughter go to that show because I would not want her to be locked up in penitentiary for the rest of her life. I'm just saying. Because she my daughter, and I know her, and the first bitch to throw her shit, I do some shit like that. She ain't going to be about that. She going to be about they motherfucking heads and necks and shit. And that motherfucking jumping and ganging and shit. Psh, all she got to do is get on the bat much love phone. And I'll be on. <laughs> Y'all know what? That's why I can't watch the Bad Girls Club. Because they ain't never one of them bitches bad. None of them. And with that being said, who wants to be that way? <laughs> Who wants to be labeled as this bad girl that fights all the time? Like, I can't. Who wants to be that? Hey, who wants to be that? I mean, I'm just saying, why can't you just be a woman that ain't, you know, about that? You know, anywho, y'all. So listen, that's my take on the love and hip hop. That was all I wanted to say about it. I am going to talk about Atlanta and Shameless. So I hope y'all caught up on Shameless. So I'll be talking about that. Look for that. I'm going to get that to y'all. So I'm out of here. Much love. Y'all already know what it is. Leave comments below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully if I left something out, y'all add that in. But I really just wanted to talk about Erica going in and letting her know her position. So I'm out of here, y'all. Much love.